Hello and welcome. My name is Reiner. This is Dynaxis. We're gonna do a walkthrough, talk through of the um. Isn't this a speed run. Speed run of trying to get to Pinwheel and get the right of kindling. Oh. So yeah, right here we're just kind of challenging him. Oh, what's good? We're just we're just kind of taunting what's, him. What's good? He doesn't know what's coming at us. So yeah, we're gonna make our journey off this way. I get a little bit distracted right here. We try to um. I feel like I'm going to the asylum. Because up, um, up over the hill here, you can take this path and roll up onto a pillar and just uh, go up to the bird's nest. And if you curl up like a ball in the bird's nest, it'll um, fly you back to the asylum at the beginning. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It, like, I just, like, when I first saw that, it was like curl up into a ball. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why would one curl up into a ball? If I just pretend to be an egg, is it like trying to like lure a hawk with your hand and like pretend to be a worm? I don't understand that. I don't know either. Yeah. Anyway, so I come over here and I roll down this hill. And you'll see this. I have to evade all these skeletons because I'm only like level 42. Oh my god! Just nope. <laughs> just gonna run right past him. I have, I want nothing to do with these guys. There are giant skeletons, which are even worse. So right here, there's just a blood stain we're gonna pass by, and this guy just runs off into the distance, Davy Crockett style. So yeah, we come down to this hill, and there's the um, there's the. Um, what is this tomb? The no. the catacombs. The catacombs, yes, catacombs. The catacombs, uh, or the or the love, the the tunnel of love. We the, like to the, call it the tunnel of love. Everyone here just wants. This to... isn't like this isn't like a tunnel of love. No, they they just want to give you a hug with their uh, sword. Oh, that, that 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 shows how much they love you. Exactly, they just want to just want to put it inside of you and twist it all around. Ah, oh, that sounds pleasant. Exactly. In fact, I believe that's a line from a Jack White song. Ah. Yeah, anyway, so we sprint down here. We already cleared out this little area. Normally there's a man carrying a lantern and a couple of skeletons down here. And there's a lever uh, right in the center stage. I don't, know how that, I don't know how that lever actually, like, sit. Well, it, it turns one of the bridges, doesn't it? Exactly. I'm not sure which one it turns, though. In order to uh, turn all uh, to turn the last bridge to get to Pinwheel, we have to turn th three other levers? Yes. We have to turn three other levers to... Um, three other levers? Yes. Oh. They're scattered out. I know two of them are next to each other, but they're across the canyons, and, uh... Uh-huh. The other one... Oh, what oh. the fuck did you do? Sorry, I kicked the remote. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay. You're not playing in real life. Don't pretend it. So, yeah. We just, uh, run over here. My sword is only plus five. My scimitar. I, I just noticed that. I was like, why aren't you using your iconic weapon? I mean, I remember you Halberd so much. Halberd, I left it in my inventory. I was kind of hobbling. Uh, I, I, I think I was just farming for souls right here. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so I come back down and I um, rest and reorganize my stuff. So yeah, I leave. I got the Halberd and this, this Wayhander, which, uh. although it's kind of a... Oh my god. It doesn't work quite well with one hand. You got a two-handed and then it still doesn't work well with this. Oh, that's a, that, that's a great attack. I mean, it's just like clears out it's a hole. It's too big, though. I honestly. Well, isn't the halberd too big? Well, halberd, you can like spin around like a helicopter. Like, watch this. You can just, that, that's the stab attack, and then you can just. But I think I do it with the next guy. You just run over and you just spin in a circle, right there. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you just clear out. Holes. That's how. That's how you. That's how you should do it. Yeah, that's how you get off a bunch of hobos when they're trying to steal a penny from you. <laughs> just no. Yeah. Anyway, so we spread off into this valley, and there's... Oh, are we in the Valley of Drakes now? No, Valley of Drakes is back the other direction. This is just... What the fuck was that? There's a mental lantern trying to shoot you. Oh, these guys probably must be annoying you by now. Yeah, normally they, uh, since I'm a low level, I can't really kill them. I just shatter them in a bit, and then they come back. Kind of like the, uh, the, uh, the Dry Bones from Mario, if you play Mario. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like those guys. Yeah, so we're, ch we're just chasing this guy down. Uh, uh, nice heal. I know, taking shots of, um... Taking shots. Estus. Estus. Frank's Red Hot. Uh, oh, uh, not Knock the sponsor, yeah. Jesus! Yeah, just crammed the whole dang thing in there. Just... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That is yeah. how you do it. Yeah, so normally we would've just... Yeah, we tried the helicopter, but we only got two. There's like another 15 of them back there, so we're just, we're just gonna sprint on past. Uh. So yeah, if this is like your first time playing Dark Souls, it's not that hard. That bridge back there, uh, if you would try to stand on it, it would just flip over and you'd fall off. That's why we need to pull the levers. So we, uh, we run up. I've never here. actually walked on them, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, normally I think you just slide off because they're round on the, on the bottom. 
So yeah, we went over here and there's a there's a lever somewhere after I stab him in the in the in the air. Oh shit, that guy's rebuilding. Yeah, they uh they come back. Oh, I start I saw I love how you start sprinting. Uh, oh yeah, see, see an item. Yeah, and you can see the uh, the other lever there in the corner, just oh. right across the valley. We gotta go around it. Oh, there's your there's your iconic helicopter attack. Yeah, I just gotta spin in a circle. You know, when in doubt, just circle out. When in doubt, circle out. Exactly. I'll quote you on that, bud. Exactly. I'll bring that up every single video if you like. Every video, Dynaxis from the time he said, when in doubt. Circle all around. Yeah, and oh. then, I don't even understand, how do you cram it in a skeleton? They got nothing to cram it in. I mean, geez. You cram oh. it through a spine or something? Oh. Aww. Alright, here, give me a second. Alright, now we're back. So I got a sign back in. So yeah, now we're going to we, uh, we normally would have gone through there, but the skeletons kind of scared me off to the side. And perfect, because we had to go over here and climb up the ladder to get to the last lever. I'm guessing you noticed that right when you fell down. Yeah, I'm just like, hey, perfect timing. So I went over here. And it takes me a couple seconds. I forget where I'm going. Just no, 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 no. And then you're like, oh. There we go, out of kid. So yeah. Push that in there. Now we're good. See, that bridge right over there flipped over, so now we can run over there. Run through like four more tunnels, and then maybe get to Pinwheel. Pinwheel? Pinwheel, yes. That's the man we're trying to kill. Pinwheel? Yeah. I, I mean, I've killed Pinwheel before. I got the right of kindling. Yeah, I like, I like pinwheels. I like sticking them out the car window, and they spin. Uh huh. They're pretty, pretty shiny. Anyway, so we'll just face through. Like, the like, like he looks like a badass, but except like he's stupid. He's, he's he stupid. He doesn't know what he's doing. He is, he is a retarded. Well, he looks like a badass, but he has a retarded. Yeah, name. watch. I'm gonna crumble this whole wall with one hit. Right, were, you, were you one? It's done. Were you wondering if that wall would actually be like a crumbler? I wasn't sure. And normally, like some walls just aren't. They look fake, but they're not. So come here and just go around the corner. Of, uh, no, down I... in this hall, we're gonna stop real quick and we're gonna go off on a detour. We're gonna join the, uh, the Gravelord Covenant of Nito. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, what are you checking in your uh, inventory for? You need the, uh, the Eye of Death, I believe? Yeah, the Eye can, of Death. You can get this by killing some bosses. So you come down here, uh, don't go too close to the Titanite Demon, but if you call in this box, and you wait a couple of seconds, maybe a minute... Oh my god, look at your freaking tusks! Yeah, they just kinda... You gotta... Like, how the fuck are you laying down in there? A lopsided coffin. They're gonna have to close it and then kind of duct tape it around. Kind of like when someone has a broken bumper on their car, and they just kind of put rubber on it. It's like... Uh, ah, that's yeah. funny. So then the cutscene starts, and let's just watch this. Uh, you're just a giant the, the, tusk. The tusks are sticking out. I don't understand this. It's crazy. So I'm looking around, and I don't even know what push it is in. I, th I think it might be those little, uh... Oh. Midget skeletons, do you find? Oh, no, there was a skeleton. You see that? Yeah, I saw There's that. a skull. I didn't notice that earlier. So yeah, yeah, I know. Just come up and close it. He's like, nah, talk to you later, bud. Talk to you later, bud. Talk to our grave lord, if you know what I mean. Yeah, was that an innuendo? What? Shh. You hear that? No. I don't know. No, but, uh, so we come right here, and it's like waking up after Mardi Gras. You don't know where you are, and you're... You, you, you just want some Gatorade, maybe some onion rings, and you just want to take a minute to realize where you are. Get the toothpaste off your feet. Get the toothpaste off Clean your feet. Clean the ketchup out of your eyes, whatever. <laughs> so we're in the Tomb of the Giants. I do not want to be here. I bet, because it's the Tomb of the Giants. I know, look at this. This is Nito. He's like the second biggest guy on the map. Oh my fucking god. I know, he's made of a bunch of little midget guys. It looks so like he's coralescing. Yeah. Oh. We pray to him, we get the achievement. And he gives us the uh, the Gravelord Swords Dance. That's what it's called. The Gravelord Sword Dance. Yeah, you use the. So you got the Gravelord Sword and the Gravelord Sword Dance Miracle. Exactly. So the miracle, what it does is you use it while uh, equipped with the talisman. It shoots a bunch of spikes up out of the ground, which is really cool. Oh shit. Yeah, it's like um, what game is that? Uh, I'm trying to remember, but I remember this one. Um, I think it, it's a. Uh, oh, it's from Ascend. Kind of cool. Wait, hold on. What's that sound? Oh, that's just chlamydia. That, that, that <laughs> clapping. <laughs> clapping. I get it. No, but I guess like, do you think his head got stuck in there? Do you think his head got stuck in there? I think I think the like the thing is just like lopsided. Like, Lop, yeah, I lop. wonder what it's, it's probably like getting a vice squid in your head. I remember, I remember I told you this one time I got my head stuck in an elevator. Oh, um, I don't want to hear that story right now. Yeah. All right, well I'll save it for next time. Yeah, we'll save it for next it's, time. It's crazy though. Well, See, I just crawl on out. I almost start walking towards the demon, and I get scared. I'm like, oh god. 
He tries to touch my bosom. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, we tried killing one of those guys earlier, and we got really angry because it took us, like, 20 tries. Oh, that was the first time we ever tried fighting a Titanite demon when we were, like, level 20. Yeah, that was a long time ago. So, yeah, we're just going to slide down this pole after getting the soul. See, look, I learned. Oh, no. <sighs> Wow. Don't fall in that, that hole will break that little... Um, oh, God, they're killing you. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. So, yeah, we just went on there. Avoid the edges of the tomb because they will break and you will fall down and die. Oh. So here we heal. We only have two Estes left. So we gotta be careful. I would be careful. So we just tear that guy up and then fall down this hole. Carefully. Carefully fall down the hole. Carefully fall down the hole. Exactly. And right on this corner, there's another guy with a lamp. We would want to kill him, but instead we want to go get Pinwheel first. Ah. Yeah, so right here, oh my god, I hate these guys. They're just skeletons with like pirate wheels on them, so then and they just roll around. Uh -huh. They're hard to dodge and they always hit. They always do, it's impossible to miss. Ah, I bet. I mean every time I fight these guys I mean when I played Dark Souls, these guys were fucking annoying. I know, they just freaking ah they just run They and, piss me off. Like I mean every time And they follow you everywhere. They will follow you for miles. Like here I turn around and I see like two of them and they're chasing me down the valley. It oh. sucks. I barely make it out. Jesus! I know. They just come out of nowhere and they start corner trapping right me. Across the fog. Oh right. shit, you did. Right. You made right it. Right here is the uh, the tomb of Pinwheel. The tomb of Pinwheel. Exactly. So we're going to sit right here. We're going to heal up. We're completely out of Estus, but we have full health. So yeah, this is a um, one-shot opportunity. All right, let's pay attention to this. He's my best friend. Do friends perform surgery on each other? They give each other kidneys. I feel like, well, I understand that, but I don't feel like I'd trust you if you were to take a scalpel to me. No what? offense, but I wouldn't want someone sticking a knife on me. Why not? It's just, it's, I'd, I'd prefer not to be shot, stabbed. It's just... Alright, cuts anyway on. Anyway. Pinwheel. So, yeah, basically this, how his attack is, he just shoots these giant orange plasma balls at you with his lamps, like that. And they will like, oh shit! Yeah, they'll ricochet back around and hit you. So I'm down to less than half health right now. And he'll teleport around and spawn multiple versions of him. Oh shit! The copies won't hurt you, but he will. So the point is to try and find him and start hitting the real one. Or just pay attention. Yeah, just pay attention to where he's floating, because he'll just float around the map like a butterfly, just kind of. Oh shit! Flat. Look how much damage he did him. Yeah, he's he's an easy boss. He just. They killed those two. He right just there. does a lot of damage. So here, we're just looking for him, and he starts floating over me. Again, Miss right there. Yeah, we start to corner trap him right here, he gets stuck. And here, it either looks like he's trying to teleport away, or he's just kind of stuck there, I don't know what he's doing. So yeah, here, we're almost completely out of health, we're almost dead. One shot can kill us. He's sitting here, he's almost dead, he's like, multiplying. And we're like, oh, but, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, we get him right as he fires, so we lost the 15,000 souls. But we still got the right of kindling, the homeward bone, and the achievement. Oh, and, the, and the humanity, so we got everything there. Thanks for watching, guys.